My name's Mark, I'm a director at Digital 22. Hopefully I can add some value to you guys today. We'll be talking about video marketing. We've been doing this for just over 12 months now and we've made a lot of mistakes. We've done a few things right but made a lot of mistakes. Hopefully I can give that value to you guys so you don't do the same. Uh, that's, that's our title, secret, uh, secret formula to generate over 1.6 million in ROA within 12 months. So that's what we've done. I'll explain how we've done it and how we've got there. But first I want to talk about this gentleman, it's called Jim Quick. He is a memory improvement and brain performance coach. So he teaches all these amazing people from presidents to film stars to rock stars. And what he's trying to do is, is help us remember things. I've got a terrible memory. As I'm getting older, it's getting worse and worse. So I did his online course about a year ago and I found it phenomenal. The fact that I can take notes better now and recall a lot of events and meetings just through his tips and tricks. So this is what Jim says. In short, he says, within one hour, people will forget an average of 50% of information presented to them. The human brain will just discard a lot of stuff being said. Within 24 hours, we forgot 70%. And what is absolutely phenomenal, within one week, if you're at this event now, if you're not taking notes, within one week, you'll forget 90% of it. So I'm trying to present this to our team as well when a client says, we didn't say that, or a prospect says, no, I never said that. They're not lying. It's the fact that they didn't recall it. So I think it's a real good tip for everyone in your business and within today as well, like take notes. And what I'd like to do, again, what we're doing back at Digital 22, we're trying to collaborate a lot. We've got 40 great minds in here and I'd just like to get everyone's ideas together. So I'd like you to help me. In the middle of each table is some stickies. If you could all grab a few each and then throughout this talk, if you can write any ideas you've got, like how to implement video in your business or... Um, anything to do with video marketing. If you could all write at least two, two ideas each, if you could do 10, that would be amazing. And we're going to stick them up at that board at the back. There's three sheets of paper. And by doing that, what we'd like to do at the end is take a picture and you can all take this away. With a collaboration, you should hopefully have over 100 ideas to implement in your business. If you have to go early, we'll take a photo and send it around to everyone. So hopefully you can all chip in and help us today with that. Just to get you started, here's some ideas, just to get the ball rolling. You could think of each stage of the life cycle from prospecting. You could have a selfie introduction, which Caroline's now doing to our prospects now. We could have a personalised video, validation messages. We could be using team member introductions or even how-to guides. So there's a real quick, quick intro to get you started. So anything that pops into your head, please pop on a sticky. Okay, so our story so far... When I'm putting these slides together, the last thing I want to do is make these braggy. There's nothing worse than the agency up here bragging. So I'd, it's, it's probably the opposite. There's more mistakes in here than, uh, than actual wins. Again, let's hope we can give you some value. So at the end of 2017, we dropped an email over to, uh, to HubSpot saying, can we interview Brian Halligan, the CEO? And they replied and said, yeah, absolutely, which we're amazed by. They didn't think they would. So we jumped on a plane. Flew over there, Ricky and I, and we had a good hour with, with Brian, and all he talked about is the importance of video. I mean, we see the stats everywhere. Eliana's just presented. I've been seeing it for five years now, in 2020, 80%. We keep seeing it, and all Brian talked about was, you know, you, everyone needs to get on this. So that's a quote from the exact video, the podcast we did from him. Start geeking out hard on video, post to text. Use video within your business. So we come home all pumped up and said, right, we're going to get on this. So we went down to Dixon's and we bought the cheapest camera they did, which is that exact camera there. It was £120, and we started filming everything. So we'd set it up on a tripod, we'd start filming, then we bought a mic, because our audio was atrocious, and then we grabbed a few beers, and we started doing a podcast. There's episode two of uh, me, Paul, Andrew, and Ricky, grabbed a beer, and we just started talking marketing. And then what we do is we repurpose them on SoundCloud and start putting them out there. Then what we did, we need somewhere to host them. So we started with Wistia. Wistia is fantastic, but to integrate Wistia with HubSpot, they're wanting around about five, six hundred pounds a month, which back then is quite pricey for us. So we went to a company called 23, and they give us a free package. So again, we started doing podcasts, we started filming our hugs, started filming events, everything we did, we started filming. At that time, we didn't have a video, video team, so I'd spend evenings editing, which was uh, long days back then. This is the back end of the software, so yesterday I did a screenshot of how many videos. I was unaware until I looked at this, how many videos we've done in the last 12 months. We've done around about 200 and 211. It's pretty good. 
really good. And the stats, which I'll go into now, which are, again, phenomenal. One thing we've done wrong is we've started doing this video marketing. We're amazing at our, our inbound. We're always doing reports. We're always doing analytics, but we kind of don't really look into the video side of things. So two weeks ago when I looked into this, I was blown away with, with how well it's doing. Uh, I've just, just done a really easy funnel. Uh, this is from the video platform. There's around about 25,000 plays there. Uh, we've got 1,203 unique views, so they're from unique visitors. Uh, which works out around about 239 leads. That's leads coming to the business from the videos. Again, I was unaware of this for a couple of weeks ago. Uh, SQLs, they're ready to buy. So they, they ticked all the criteria and they're, they're ready to buy. 70 of them and then through HubSpot, we did a bit of filtering and it's nine brand new customers have come through or been influenced by video. If we put a lifetime value on that, it's around about 1.9 million. Again, um, Phenomenal how, how powerful inbound video is in within 12 months. So what, what I want you guys to get out today is to start doing it. To start, pick up a camera, pick up, pick up your phone and start putting content out. It really does work. I knew it would work, but not at this, not at this length. So our return on video marketing, if we had to put a return on it, it's currently at 20 to 1. And that's only our own current marketing. That doesn't include now we've got a full video team and we service video to our clients. So if we put that revenue on there, it'd be double that as well. So I'd say around about 41 return on investment in using inbound video. We're one out of three customers now are interacting with video across our platform. Again, HubSpot tells us them stats. And yeah, just get on it, guys. It really works. And a bit of a turning point for me is try, try and get famous within your niche, within your sector. If you look at all these amazing, famous people there, we've got marketeers to film stars to... They're all famous because of one thing, not the talent. They're famous because they've been on TV. They're famous because they've been on video. So try and get famous within your niche and your business. Get your face on screen, get your team on screen. Get famous within your niche. Quote from, uh, from Vidyard, your business should now be a media company. Start thinking not just content, start getting video out there. Lessons we've learned then, some mistakes. We didn't invest in a decent audio kit, so we'd, try and, we'd use a camera from the, the phone or the, um, the, the Sony camera we bought. It's, these cost five pounds from Amazon, just invest it's a fiver, and the sound quality is great. If your visual video is pixelated or a little bit dodgy, it doesn't matter as long as your audio is top quality. So that's, that's a big mistake we made. If I listen back to our early podcast, I'm pretty ashamed actually, but we'll, we'll move on. We didn't hire a video, videographer sooner. If I'd have looked at these stats sooner back in the day, I'd have jumped straight off editing and got a team in quicker. So just analyze your stats a lot quicker. We probably took us around about six months before we started getting the likes of Alex and other people as our video department. Uh, don't use different cameras. We're buying a lot of cheap cameras. So we'd have a Sony, we'd have a Canon. They've got different uh, frame rates, different screen rates. So when you're trying to multicam and edit them together, it's an absolute nightmare for the editor to try and use the same brand of camera. It's okay getting a cheap one, but get two cheap ones of the same brand. And that'll really help you out. Uh, we stopped filming podcasts for four months. Devastated why we did that. We just got out of the habit, got busy, and I just think now we'd have had so much more traction if we hadn't got out, out of the habit. So once you start doing something, just try and keep that, keep that going. And we didn't assign anyone to monitor video marketing results and reports, as I've said earlier. We're just banging loads of content out of there. No one's really tracking it because all our strategies were focused on the actual content inbound side. So start looking at that early on. Uh, good things. Um, we're pretty much out in the sticks in a little town called Clitheroe. We're expanding 100% year on year and it's hard to find good talent. A lot of people want to work in big cities like Manchester. So what we tried to do is improve our employee branding by introducing video. Around about six months ago, so we started doing little walk rounds of our studios, our, um, our team talking about how much they enjoyed their work, and we started putting in that on our, on our careers pages. And it's really worked. I mean, you can see we've had a 300% increase in applicants, so we've just had short of 500 applicants in the, last, in the last six months, which is through video, which is phenomenal again. And you can see there, that's just a screenshot of the software. 
just short of 500 actual plays as well. So they get, the people are using that. We need to use it within our employee branding as well as attracting prospects. So again, that's just great evidence that works. Another thing we've done, we've got some really technical clients. When you're on board and um, like an IT company, they're very technical and you've got your writing team, you go down there, you do your kickoff day, you work on personas, tone of voice, and then they're trying to get their head around their product and it's really difficult. And we have a one or two clients who really struggled in the first day and we kept going through iteration and iteration. And then we just had a bit of a brainwave and said, why don't we send our camera crew down there and just ask them a series of 10 questions on their pain points, get them to tell us, transcript it, and then we can never be wrong then. So we started doing that a lot more. And they would just transcript it, they're answering their own question. They know, they know their product better than we do. And it's the words out of their mouth. So that's been a real lifesaver for us. That's probably one of my best tips I've got today for anyone out there. Awards, again, try not to be a shameless brag. We've been applying for awards for years and we never seem to bloody win any. <laughs> Never do, it's seven years, we never win awards. So we said, right, why don't we start in putting video submissions in? So Q4 of last year, which is uh, only recently, we did, we entered six awards, as we always do. And rather than writing these big, long, um, these big, long letters, we, um, we just created a series of videos and sent them in and we ended up bloody winning them all, which is, which is great. I can imagine there's a, there's a team of judges in a room, they get sick of trailing through all these papers and emails, it's just, it's just great for them to watch a video. So yeah, we've been really good, we've ended up winning a, an Employee of the Year award, which we had nothing to do with. Uh, our team just, uh, just put a video together and sent that in, and we ended up winning them. So if you want to start getting authority and trust within your business and win awards, start using videos as, as submissions, because it works, we're proof of that. What's, uh, what's next for us then? We're, we're still on a journey, we need to get so much better. So we've had a bit of a brainstorm. Uh, we've had Vidyard over last week and they're over this week again. They're helping us migrate our video system over to Vidyard, uh, Vidyard at the minute. So I've been, uh, been chatting to them guys about what we can do better, which I'll touch on in a minute. So we've just partnered with them. I know quite a few agencies uh, in England, I think it's around about 10 have partnered with Vidyard. So that's one thing we're going to do. We're going to start using videos on our landing pages as well. It's very text heavy at the minute. We can see what we've done with basic videos. We want to start putting talking heads, uh, which should hopefully increase conversion rate. We want to start putting it on thank you pages for like upsells or pushing them towards more content. That's going to be the drive in the next quarter. Uh, also workflow emails. We've got no video in our workflows. It's criminal really when we know it works. So we're going to try and jump on that. Another tip. Uh, video reporting for clients, end of every month we send a report to all our clients, it's pages and pages of stats, so we're, we're setting up the Go video now where our strategists can actually talk through the, um, through the report, which is a lot more user friendly really, so we're going to start doing that. Another little tip for you. We also want to improve our culture videos, attract more talent, so we're just going to film everything. If we have a night out, events, we're going to Dublin, inbound, we're just going to film everything. We've got uh, Alex always following us now, cameras. So uh, we're just going to keep pushing that and try and track better and better talent. And we're going to use, start using videos in sales. So we had some sales training yesterday with Kaz. The guys from Vidyard was over. Uh, you did okay, didn't you? It was a little bit nerve-wracking at first. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to start using videos in sales. And I'll touch on what we're going to do, what these guys have, have trained us to do. Uh, videos in CTA. So you get around about 30 seconds into our videos and this CTA pops up and it's very basic, very generic. You put your name and your email in or you can skip it. We've had around about 68 signups, which is not brilliant, but it's still okay. Uh, we want to try and improve on that, but there's no actual nurture sequences or workflows, so they can just go into a pot on the left, really. So we need, we need to improve on that. What Video does, it's so powerful, is we can start having personalized CTA. So at the end of the video, we can push in certain bits of content uh, what Kaz did yesterday is she did an introductory video of herself talking. She held up a whiteboard with a name on it, which I'll show you in a second, so they can see that on the thumbnail. And then we can create playlists as well. So as soon as Caroline finishes speaking, it goes to a pre-made video of our studio and all our staff talking and saying hi. And that just helps with closing rate with prospects as well. That's another tip. Um, what else Caroline could do at the end of her video, she could have an iframe of the embedded book and meeting form in HubSpot, that's another option. Our strategist, we've talked about having an NPS score on there with the smiley faces, how, did, how would you rate this video? And that can come through to us guys then, so many opportunities, so we want to 
want to really home in on the CTA side. This is the video which Caroline created yesterday. I was going to put yours on, but I didn't want to embarrass you. So. <laughs> Now, what Vidyard does is you create a video and you just take a little snippet and it creates, a, creates a, like a, an animation for you there and you can put that in your email then and it just improves open rates, really helps. A great stat for the givers yesterday is um, an average business email gets around about 121 emails a day, which I'd be really happy if I got that little, I'd be really happy. It takes around about 7.5 seconds of attention span, so just by having an animated animated screen on there people are going to press and open that okay and then the old sales people consider is it less than three percent consider sales people to be trustworthy untrustworthy sorry so just the fact that it's personalized and that human to human connection is going to uh, create open rate as well uh, back to what we said earlier it's just a little chart that's the single the single thumbnail what they're big on at the minute vidyard is creating what you call a playlist series so when you finish speaking, you can just keep playing different videos. That's really working for them at the minute. So we're going to start doing that in the next quarter. Uh, while I was here, I just said, have you, got any, have you got any more tips I could present at the Hug tomorrow? And uh, Rob, Rob sent me this slide. He said what they're finding is really working well over in the States and Canada at the minute is a episodic video series. So rather than creating one video, you create episodes with like a cliffhanger at the end. It helps with engagement, people come back and keep watching, and it's really increasing their conversion. I said, that's great, can you send me some evidence? So he sent me this slide. That's one of their current customers. They've recently created a video series, and they've, he tells me they've generated 25 million. Well, they've actually put 25 million pounds worth of uh, deals in the pipeline, which is, which is great evidence. We need to get better at video testimonials, so when we're going out and filming our clients at the minute, we're just asking them at the end of the day, look, can we just grab you on camera and just ask you a few questions? Uh, that's so powerful within all your business as well, when you're with your clients, or even if you go to a meeting there, just say at the end, just pull out your iPhone and try and get some, some real good social proof. That's, we're getting so many hits on this now, and Caroline, you'll share this as well with a lot of our prospects. So she'll add them links. We need to, we need to get better than that and we want to improve a lot more. So all our clients will start doing this. Uh, yeah, and then we just need to... Uh, we've got a full team in-house now. We've invested um, 18, 80 or grand, 86 grand now on uh, new studios and equipment. Because we've seen these stats, we really want to start pushing it. So we've got a full in-house video service. Well, again, we want to get so much better. But we need it to... Be the guinea pigs we need to do it prove it and roll it out to our clients and now now we really believe in that uh, this is our new fancy podcast room which has been seven years in the making uh, it's nearly finished so we want to start podcasting every week but fancy mics now so we can just go in press play and start recording so that's uh, that's something we're really going to try and push this year and then just thing for you guys where can you use video within your life cycle of your business have a little brainstorm and uh, keep writing your city and we'll see more than one and see some fear of rain. And we fall out. You got some on? A bit of a challenge for you. If you're new to video and you haven't done it before, just try and create one. A little challenge in the next 24 hours. Just create a video. It doesn't have to be you talking. It could be a little walk around your office. It could be, um, could be a little demo or a screen share. Just anything. Just just do it once, you'll find it's not as daunting as what you think. It's a little challenge for people who haven't used video before. If you have used video before, try and come up with a basic video strategy. It's the three things you're going to do in the next quarter. Hopefully with the ideas on the board at the end of the day, you could do that. So I think I can push video. And that's all I've got for you today, guys. Thank you very, very much. Enjoy.